In today's session, I get to talk about the difference between vector quantities and scalar quantities. Let me begin this way. So my wife gets to call me and she's like, honey, I'm 50 kilometers away, come pick me up. Then she hangs up. Now, think about it. She just told me that she's 50 kilometers away. How the hell am I supposed to know which direction to take? She simply said, I'm 50 kilometers away. I can either go north, east, south, west. She didn't specify which direction I should take. So that 50 kilometers away kind of information is one dimensional kind of information. And the physical quantities that only offer that kind of information are what we call scalar quantities. What I'm trying to say is that a scalar quantity is a physical quantity that only offers magnitude without direction. So, because I didn't know where I was supposed to go, I pick up my phone again and I give her a call and I'm like, you told me you're 50 kilometers away, what direction should I take? So she tells me that I am 50 kilometers northeast. So now, there is another piece of information right there. It's now two dimensions. She has given me the magnitude and the direction. The kind of physical quantities that offer that kind of information where we can we have both the magnitude of the physical quantity and the direction are what we call vector quantities. By definition, a vector quantity is a physical quantity that offers both magnitude and direction. In the simple illustration that I have just given you, distance is just, you know, a scalar quantity. It only has magnitude. However, when the distance is given direction, in this case, when the 50 kilometers are now being described as 50 kilometers northeast, then it becomes displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. It's the same thing when you look at mass. Mass is just the quantity of matter in an object. Mass is a scalar quantity. It's just the quantity of matter in an object. However, when we give mass direction, in, then the mass becomes weight. When, when, when the, the kind of direction we are talking about here is the direction towards the Earth's gravitational pull. When we say weight, what is weight? Weight is actually mass to mass in towards the direction of the gravitational pull. what i'm trying to say here is that we, uh, mass is a scalar quantity weight is a vector quantity the same thing happens with speed speed does not give direction so speed is a scalar quantity however when that kind of speed is accorded direction it's what we call velocity. Of course, there are also other, you know, examples of scalar and vector quantities. So that's it with the difference between scalar and vector quantities. This is Anwar Granga and this is Kisembo Academy. Take care.